I'm gonna show you how to come up with an unlimited amount of video ideas. And it doesn't matter if you're making content for YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or anywhere else. By the time you're done with this video, you're not ever gonna be in a situation again where you're not gonna know what to make a video about. And if this is your first time here, my name is Nick and I'd like to welcome you to the Tube Spanner channel where we help you learn how to get more views, subscribers, and revenue from the content you're already making. So if you're a content creator, remember to subscribe. All you have to do is go into your Tube Spanner account once you create an account at Tube Spanner and you wanna click on the toolbox. Once you're in the toolbox, you wanna go down to new video video ideas, click on that. Once you're in your video ideas, all you have to do is come over to this niche category section and you can pick your niche if you would like, or you can just leave it generic if you would want to. But for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick social media. Once I have the social media category selected, I can scroll down the page and you can see here that we have pages worth of video ideas. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna change it to another category. In this example, I'm just gonna go down to sports. And then you can see here as I scroll down the page again, how it also gives us pages of video ideas for sports as well. Now, of course, you can also fine tune this by selecting the genre or type category, but you'll get a lot more ideas if you do not use the genre and type option. And one really cool thing I wanna show you here is if you decided to, let's say, make a video on creating a challenge video, then right here, I'm gonna click on this option to create a quick script. And that will take you to the scripting page where you have proven structures of content and you can just go ahead and start filling in the blanks to put your video script together. And that's just one feature inside of Tube Spanner. Now, let's move on and show you some other ways you can come up with video ideas as well. The next way to come up with video ideas is by using YouTube autocomplete. What YouTube autocomplete is, is when somebody goes to the very top of YouTube and they search for something, YouTube is tracking and logging everything that people are searching for on YouTube. So what you can do when it comes to video ideas is you can go to the very top of YouTube search and you can start typing in things around the type of content that you make and YouTube will give you video ideas and inspiration. Let me show you. So when it comes to YouTube autocomplete, all you have to do is load up YouTube on your computer or on your phone and you go up to the search bar. Now let's imagine that you're making videos about cake. Then in that particular case, you could come up here and you could just start putting in the word cake. And you can see already YouTube is showing us that people's looking for cake recipes, cake mixes, um, cake by the ocean, cake mix cookies, and so on, where right out of the gate, we get a lot of really good ideas on something that we might be able to make videos about as it relates to cake. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this up a notch and I'm going to do cake A. And then here we see that people are looking for very specific things related to cake with A attached to it. And I'm gonna go to B and the same exact thing applies, but this isn't really giving me exactly what it is that I want. We have cake banana, we have cake birthday. So we are starting to walk down that right path, but what we're gonna do is just keep on going. So as we keep on going through this process, we're gonna see here that, you know, we are getting some ideas. We got chocolate cake recipe as an example, but here, if I take this back and let's say that from this initial list, you see cake recipe and you think to yourself, yeah, you know what? I am gonna do a cake recipe video. Then what we could do here is we could put cake recipe. And then now you're going to see that we have all of these additional options for cake recipe. And then we go through that same exercise of just putting the letter A, and then we're gonna backspace and hit the letter B. And then we see all of these different ideas that YouTube is giving us based on things that people are actively looking for on YouTube. So this is like a proof of concept of sorts to ensure that the videos that you're making are things that people are actively interested in or looking for. Now, another thing we can do here, if you were on that cake recipe idea, is you can also flip it around and you could say recipe for cake and then hit the space bar. And then you can see here that it also gives us additional options here. So the big idea when it comes to using YouTube autocomplete is to start with the root thing that you actually make content about, which in this case would be cake. And then from there, you start typing in just different ways that people might be looking for information about that cake. The next place to come up with great video ideas for your videos is called Answer the Public. Let me show you how that works. So what you wanna do here is you wanna go to answerthepublic.com. Now at answerthepublic.com, you get three free searches per day. So you wanna make sure you use them wisely. But you can see in the search field, all you have to do here, and we're gonna use that chocolate cake example again, is I'm going to type in chocolate cake and I'm going to hit search. Once you hit return, it's gonna take a second to load and then it's going to show you all of these different things that people are wanting to know about chocolate cake. Now, of course, they break down all these different graphs and all these different ways that people are looking for the information, but I just encourage you to scroll down to the bottom and they're going to list everything out alphabetically that people are looking for related to chocolate cake. Or if we go back and update this to cake recipes, 
And then we scroll down for that, then we can see all of these different things that people are looking for around cake recipes as well. So this is also a great place to come up with a ton of video ideas for whatever type of content you make. Now, once you come up with your video idea, the next step in that process is to write a script for your video. So click into this video right here to learn how to write a really good script for your content. You can go ahead and click into that now. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.